hey guys, this is pulled from our Twitch channel. So if you guys are interested in more content like this, then feel free to follow us at twitch.tv slash lunar underscore underscore TV. Enjoy the clips. Wow. So there's a lot of cereals there's here. There's a lot on here. I think I've had almost all of them, though, so I'm, I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure I have as well. I'm trying to the see if there's actually I one think. I haven't had. I don't know if I've had, like, Golden Crisp, but or, but I think I've had everything else that I can see on there. There's a few, yeah, there's a few I haven't had. Alrighty. So we got S, A, B, C, D, F. No E, because no one likes the letter E, I guess. Yeah. I don't know why that is with the tier lists. Even letter grades in school. Like. Why is there no. A, B, C, D, F. Like, why? where's the E? Where'd it go? No, I, took, I, I, I wonder if they used to stand for something. But even then, they're alphabetical. So evil! Like insert, evil. insert Captain Mermaid Man. Or just Mermaid Man, not Captain Mermaid Man. Insert him saying evil. Evil Mermaid Man. Function Barnacles. Nice. Mermaid Man Evil. <laughs> evil is afoot. E for it. evil. There we go. Evil. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit F11 there. That's a bit cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. I mean, I, I think we can go ahead and get started. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Let's just dive right into this tier list here. Uh, should we do an intro first? Yeah. Loose intro. Right. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Hey everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are all doing well. What's uh, up? Oh yeah, we're doing a new tier list today. It's gonna be cereal this time. Favorite childhood cereals. Looking forward to that. Uh, won't be quite as long this time, and uh, we we may even have a little extra bonus content afterwards. Ooh, so look forward to that. Bonus content. Sheesh. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna dive right on in with the first cereal. This one's a bit, you know, not too mainstream, I guess. Apple cinnamon Cheerios. I've Apple definitely had this in... probably less than five times in my life, but mm -hmm. it slaps. Yeah, it's good. It's like, yeah, it's it's a solid. It's like similar. It's not as like sweet as Apple Jacks, but like Apple Jacks are good. Apple cinnamon Cheerios are good. Yo, yeah. Fancy Fig, how's it going? Thanks for the follow, friend. Appreciate Yo, it. Fancy Fig, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, my man. Just in time for the tier list. I mean, I I agree. It's it's a it seems like it's a healthier Apple Jacks, I guess. An adult version totally. of Apple Jacks, something like that. I think it's a I solid think so. B, like B maybe maybe A. Like it's B up tier. there. It's yeah. definitely like, you know, it's not as sweet. It's not as like, mm, I'm like, this is like, like a treat to have per se. But like, this is the kind of cereal where you have it in the morning and you could have it like every morning, mm -hmm. you know, and like, you're going to be healthy. You're going to be good to go. You're going to get all those nutrients you need. All those think, nutrients like, from cereal. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> so many nutrients. But like, you're not getting like the, the three buckets of sugar you're going to get from like most of these. So true. Uh, I feel like, it's, right. I feel like it's a good kind of middle ground so i think b is good because it's definitely better than like your like your c tier like very average cereals you know yeah on to so. cookie crisp um again i've had it but you know not a ton it, usually just when i was like mm -hmm. oh let me try cookie crisp or something like yeah it was never For like me, a huge staple i remember trying it as a kid and it like it just didn't do it for me as a kid yeah. i remember it was not like you know i tried i've had i think every cereal on this list but maybe one and especially as far as like a sweet cereal goes i just don't remember it being as like as exciting you don't hate you hate cookie crisp yeah i'm not a fan either fancy fig it's just not as good like there are so yeah. many better sweet cereal alternatives i think it's i agree and it's just not as good as the packaging and the commercials make it seem you think like oh my gosh chocolate chip cookies like in cereal i think they just missed the mark on a little bit so i'm i am think c or d tier to be honest yeah like easily i think it might even be d tier because like mm -hmm. it's like like they're sweet cereals like it's kind of hard to mess up a sweet cereal i think and i i think they manage to so yeah. I think I'd I think I'd put it in D tier to be totally honest. Maybe C tier on a good day if you get like a good milk to cookie oh, yeah. ratio. All right, so <laughs> Kellogg's Special K. Now this, I don't know if I've had this specifically, but it just seems it like just a cornflake. Like cornflakes. Yeah, and I don't know how it differs from actual cornflakes, but I'm sure it's pretty similar. 
Yeah, I think it's. I think they're a little like heavier. They're a little like crunchier, or denser. You know. Okay. Uh, um. So like they're see because here's the thing with like you know maybe they're not as like you're not trying that and you're like not oh my gosh this is incredible but you're not getting special K if you're if you're looking for like a really sweet tasty cereal like that you know yeah so I I I'm I think I think you have to kind of grade it a little differently you know mm-hmm. uh, I would just to me it's just middle like it's just cornflakes like it's nothing special exactly that I think so too I think it's a very C it's not like a, it's not objectively a bad cereal by any means you know like it's Mm -hmm. it does what it's trying to do really well it is a healthy cereal to have in the morning it gives you like the carbs and like the energy to get going during the day but you're not just like you know it's not like you're bouncing off the floor like you are after like a a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch yeah yeah fancy fig i think you nailed it all right on to kicks um I, mean, I, love I love kicks. kicks. Yeah, kicks I do good, too. It, it's to me, it's. I don't think it's quite an S tier, but it's a easily A tier for me. If you agree with uh, yeah. that, um, it's like it's it's similar to Special K, but it's just better. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's something about form. it. Little, it's got the right amount of sweetness to it. Like the balls interact with the the milk nicely, you know. Uh, and you have like a, a slightly sweet milk after you drink mm-hmm. like that you can drink afterward. Yeah, better than cornflakes for sure definitely um, sweet I'm, I'm glad we agree on that i love i, I love kicks. Kicks, today too. Like, the, kicks was one of my go-to like cereals as a kid mm-hmm. like it was oh it's, not it's, a fan so... fancy fig i, I it's good. not for everyone it's not like there's not i guess a ton of like flavor i don't know like it's not like a fruity yeah. you know like these other things which might appeal to like younger people mm-hmm. and stuff you know but i i like it so i'm glad we agree tried... on a I chowed down on that as a kid because like it was there was the, for me the issue with like special K was that there just wasn't there was no flavor to it you know mm-hmm. like it's not that it was bad it was just it was boring what's nice about the kicks is like not only is the shape a little different a little interesting but, like yeah. there was just a little honey coating I think or something on the outside that just gave it that little something that really yeah that, like kind of pushes it over the edge yeah for sure so definitely partial all right, on to Apple Jacks. Apple one Jacks. of the one of the best most popular. Yeah, best commercial. Easily like S- S- cinnamon dude. Just commercial, S- yes, tier commercials. Yes, S- commercials. I agree. I couldn't agree more. Now the flavor. The flavor is decent. You know, I yeah. I like it, but it, it, you know, starts out really hot and then it kind of fades for me flavor wise. Mm-hmm. Um, but I always I, thought of these as like sub like 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 below uh what is it like uh fruit loops they were like yeah your fruit loops you know yeah like, they were good they were tasty but they were they weren't like you know i don't know they just like yeah i would rather have a blow a bowl of fruit loops if I'm yeah honest, i know? agree but but they were still good to me um so i, I honestly feel pretty similar to the cheerios i'm thinking like b or c ish yeah i think um, i think at least b tier I yeah i don't think you can C tier. yeah but... not apple jacks Apple Jacks were like they, above average for sure. Yeah. You know, they were above that C rating, absolutely. Uh, but, oh, dude, I remember watching a commercial where the Apple finally won and they released <laughs> like the no cinnamon, just like just apple flavored, uh, what, uh, whatever they were called, like, you know, cereals. It was, yeah. That was, that was a day. Watch that on Saturday morning. Oof. Here I come, I am cinnamon. Um,. Yeah. Now right. I I do like cornflakes. How I I think I've had cornflakes, but they're just like thinner than than special K, right? Yeah. It it almost seems like there's sugar on it, but I don't actually know if there is. To me, they're they're sweet. I I kind of like them, and I know they're not the most popular flavor, but I prefer them over a lot of things actually. I can't say I, I know I've eaten them. It's been too long. I don't really like. To me, I remember them being the same as Frosted Flakes, but like not as sweet. That's what I remember. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was true. Yeah. Fancy, 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 Fancy Fig's Fig's not. Deep. Yeah, he's not digging not the corn flakes. Okay. I I can. I don't know. What What are you thinking here, slot wise? My mind is them just next to Special K because they're yeah. kind of like very similar in my mind uh mm-hmm. maybe someone who's eaten them both a lot more than i have can give like a better yeah that's true a better, I, 
Yeah, I, I know a way more about cornflakes than Special K. Like I've had the mm -hmm. cornflakes a ton, but uh, Special I've K had not Special so much. K more. My grandparents were big into Special K, so if we were visiting, that's what I had. All right, on to yeah. something that I've never had. Count Chocula, I think it's called. Yeah, Count Chocula. Count Chocula. This, I know I've had one or two times. Um, if I remember correctly, it's kind of like, uh, it's like a chocolate Lucky Charms. Okay, so it has I marshmallows? Remember. Yeah, it's kind of like, but it, yeah, but instead of, well, Lucky Charms is mostly just like kind of sugar coated. This is like specifically chocolate Chocolate flavored, flavored? okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Fancy Fig is kind of right in that I don't remember being a huge fan of Count mm -hmm. Chocula. I don't it think was... a lot of people like were even. Yeah, it was definitely a less popular cereal. Um, like it was <laughs> extremely bad. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't remember it being extremely bad, but I do. I do remember it not being ideal. Um, I definitely wouldn't put it above like B tier. If you've never had it, it's kind of hard to rate. Like, I don't have like a super strong opinion on it. Okay. Um, I think C or D tier is probably. I think we might be able to put it D tier. Honestly, I think of it very similarly to Cookie Crisp, where it okay. was like it's a sweet cereal, but that just like really didn't do what it was attempting to do. Kind of misses the mark a little bit. Yeah, like it's not down. It's not like. It's not inedible. Like for me, F tier is like I just I would rather not eat it. Yeah. Or like if it's in the morning and like someone's like, hey, like I poured you a bowl of cookie crisp or I poured you a bowl of couch chocolate, I would probably eat it. Because mm -hmm. you know, I don't eat it that often. But like it's the kind of thing that I'm I might even I might even turn it down. You will not taste any chocolate in it. Wow. <laughs> then what what do you <laughs> taste? I'm curious. What is it then? Yeah, what is this taste then? I don't even remember if it's not. <laughs> I remember wanting to try it for sure, but mm -hmm. just never. It kind of—it's one of those later, like Cookie Crisp and Count Chocula, kind of came into the scene a little later. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like kind of when I was—I was, think when we were closer to like middle school, high school, which would just be like a little afterward. It yeah. tastes of lead poison. I <laughs> just uh, oh god. Ooh, maybe that is an F too. That I know. Ooh, that's uh. F for. Uh... For fancy fig. F for F, F for lead. <laughs> I think I think we I think we'll keep it a D for now. But. All right. What's this next one? Captain Crunch. Just the, without the fruit. Was there ever fruit in Captain Crunch? Or uh, without the berries, without the colored that, things. That's just regular Captain Crunch though. That's like generic Captain Crunch. Really? You've never had just generic, generic Captain Crunch? I don't. I I to be honest, I didn't even. I don't even think I knew that existed. Oh, that's like the OG Captain Crunch. Like that is what it was. It's just like a peanut butter cereal. It's oh like wow, Reese's see peanut yeah. butter cups except harder and just peanut butter. Yeah, this one with the berries to me is the that's the original. But I guess of my life's a lie. <laughs> my childhood is a lie. I do. <laughs> that's really funny. The berries I like a lot. The uh, to be honest, Captain Crunch regular, I am not a huge fan. Like. To me, Captain Crunch is, it's hard. Like, I remember hurting my mouth on Captain Crunch. Yeah. It's um, crunchy. Yeah, Captain Crunch. There you go. Yeah. Too crunchy, some would say. Captain Too Crunchy. Yeah, this, this to me would seem worse than the other ones. I've had the peanut butter one, and I've had the berries one. Um, So this one can't be better than them. Yeah. See, the berry one for me is like A tier, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maybe even S tier. Like, I know the off-brand ones are like S tier for me. I think Captain Crunch is. Be I, I kind of agree with Fancy Fig to be totally honest. Like Captain Crunch was not my favorite. It kind of like hurt my mouth, but like it, it was like a. It was still a solid cereal. It's still I, sugary, I it's, right? Like the yeah, the coating. It's still sugary. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think I think B tier is pretty accurate. So I mean, I know my brothers loved this stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Like for, they would probably rate it higher than B tier. Okay. Um, I would rate it. I would bring it up. Well, yeah, I, I think B tier is good for me. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Cool. Rice checks. <laughs> rice? I've had a lot oh. of kinds of checks, but I don't think I've had rice checks. It's probably just uh, regular old it's plain, plain checks without. Checks. Yeah, without. Uh, any sweetness, any flavoring. Yeah, uh, so with. Not. It can't not be that great. good. It's not great. I personally had these as a kid and i really liked the texture of them because they would mm -hmm. kind of like fill up with milk and yeah you could, like it was it's yeah, definitely it's different hard to describe but 
they were not an exciting cereal, mm -hmm. and uh, they were not a popular cereal by any means. Sure. No. Like, uh, I agree. Like, it's it's. I don't think it's F because it's, it's not like a bad cereal. Um, but it's just but it's, it's just missing it's not that doing much. Yeah. yeah. D or C tier for sure. Uh, it's probably pretty. Like, it's got to be similar to these things that are just like they're they're there. You know, they're just they exist. They exist if you're actually trying to you know trick yourself into thinking you're eating a healthier cereal when in reality all this is just pure sugar, like stuff like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I I'd agree. I remember yeah. actually. I think I remember putting like sugar on top mm -hmm. of rice checks. I've done that with so... yes, rice krispies. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. it's funny. <laughs> so so maybe yeah, C or D tier for sure. I think I'm comfortable putting that C tier. It feels very similar to special K and corn flakes mm -hmm. to me. It's just a plain cereal. You're not eating it because you want something that's super tasty. You want to eat it because it's something that's healthy. So yeah. I I feel the C tier on that one honestly. Uh, I'm happy with that. So wait, was Captain Crunch not peanut butter flavored? Did I just grow up eating peanut butter Captain Crunch? Yeah, I don't think it's originally peanut butter flavored. Oh. See, like... Uh, we always had peanut butter Captain Crunch in our household. We, we had it, just not as much as the berry one. But yeah. but the peanut butter one slaps. It's really the good. One is definitely better than the basic Captain Crunch. Yeah. I would 100% agree. Uh, this is easily an A tier to me. Um, For it, me, it it's hurt just my mouth. Good. But... Yeah, it was a good cereal. Like taste-wise, excellent. Yeah, uh, very good. I would put it. I would execute it very well. Here. You good with A? I just I think this has to be higher than the. I agree. It has to be higher than basic. One. Honestly, it's been so long since I've had the Captain Crunch. I don't even know if I really remember. I I always think of peanut butter Captain Crunch. I realize okay. you've never had peanut butter Captain Crunch. Fancy thing. Mm. It's it's similar to Reese's Puffs, except less chocolate and more peanut butter. And like yeah. sweet peanut butter, it's like a little. It's like a yeah. I mean, it's just like that same Captain Crunch mm -hmm. feel. So it's like a harder. It's like definitely a crunchy cereal. I would really, yeah, then really you... recommend it. But yeah, yeah. If you're looking for a new cereal to try out, yeah, ten Absolutely. out of ten. All yeah. right, on to this boring old Honey oh, Bunches of Oats with the almonds. I love Honey Bunches of Oats. That was a staple of my like. This for me, this is a tier. Like this is this is like. This is my go-to cereal for so long. It was so good. It That's was sweet, fine with me. Crunchy. Yeah. It had like I don't know. It had everything I wanted, and I felt healthy eating it because it was like it's got almonds. Like, yeah. and I don't even like almonds. Yeah. So, so I'm a huge fan of Honey Bunches of Oats, but I've never had the almond one. I only really, oh. I think I've only had the strawberry one. That's what we got in our household. But it's so good. Oh, um. So, so it easily can. And if it was the strawberry one, I would put it A tier as well. So that's the new. Yeah, yeah. So I've never had this one, but A tier is. Almond, it's like it's almost the exact same. You don't it's, have those yeah. occasional super sweet strawberry bites, but. But yeah, it's like sweet almonds, and it's still got the like honey clusters and stuff. So which oh, is yeah. like yeah. Oh yeah, it's got honey clusters. All right, finally we are on to some S tier contenders. Ooh, um, dude, this this lineup, this next, this, like, four or this five. yeah look yeah look ooh, ooh. all right we're getting to the ooh. heavy hitters like. Look yeah, at the rest are. of these cereals, dude. Honestly, the rest of the cereals. Look at the. Like, <laughs> these bombs, this. Dude. Okay. All right. D. Wait, you better not be talking about Rice Krispies, my guy. Rice Krispies. Oh, um, dude. I'll let you go first. Alone. I'll dude. let you go first, Sam. They're like they. For me, Rice Krispies are above Special K cornflakes and Rice Checks. Like I know that they're not doing a lot more than those cereals, but something about them was just like so much. You could just you could pound like a box of yep. Rice Krispies. Yes, dude. I remember refilling that bowl so many times. <laughs> that same little bit of milk at the bottom, just crushing that. Like for me, Rice Krispies is at least B tier. I'm like, I'm saying oh. this is this is A or S. Um, dude, this, is, this is my first S tier contender. So. It's up there for sure. I can't put this lower oh. than A. I'm sorry. There's no way it's I would, lower than I would A. Be, I would be comfortable with A, I think. I don't know if it quite reaches like that S tier peak for me, mm -hmm. but like, it's yeah. not far off. You think it's D, then? Dude, it's, oh, it's so good. It's, it's, it's more it's to so good. life than sugar, in my mm -hmm. man. Alright, before we move on to the sex one, I'm going to grab another beer. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah, go, go. I already had a lot of I've already had a number tonight, so I'm good to go for now, but I'll probably grab some later. Oh, 
Dude, I don't know. I'm a big fan. I mean, oh. Sog Factory, dude, you're not eating it fast enough. That's the problem. They're so good. Yeah, I totally agree. If like if you leave uh, Rice Krispies for long enough, th like they're so soggy, you can barely pick them up with a spoon. Like they no longer stack on top of each other when you eat it. Like it, they just like they're they're half liquid now. You know. So I agree. A soggy bowl of Rice Krispies is like F tier. Like a soggy bowl of most cereals drops like a tier or two. A soggy bowl of Rice Krispies drops down to like F. But if you're talking like regular. Like I think if you're talking like a normal solid bowl, I think you're you're still in it. Too, so. Yeah, you, you do have to eat them faster than any other cereal. I think they get soggy faster than any other cereal, but it, the, it's worth it because you can eat them so fast. Like, oh yeah. All right. Pound it, but enhanced. <laughs> okay, I might have to try the special K then. If you're saying that. Yeah. All right. Maybe we're not getting the love. It doesn't suck. <laughs> we are on to cinnamon toast crunch. One of my favorite cereals. Mm. Oh, this might be hands down my favorite cereal. No lie. All right, then like, I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and put it where it needs like, to go. Is that okay? Like to me, this is S tier. Yeah, like, it I has to be. I don't. I don't it's don't cinnamon toast crunch, dude. It is easily. Yes, among, thank you, Fire. It is it's among big. the stars. Mm -hmm. For me, I think most people would agree that it is an S tier. Oh. Yeah, there's something ass. about it like there's so many you know kinds of cereals that try to be like other cereals but s there's no cereal that comes even close to like cinnamon flavor and does what cinnamon toast mm -hmm. crunch does dude they have it down They're to the thickness space. of like the thickness of the little pieces to oh. the flavor of the cereal the milk afterwards like eh, oh. oh my god you can drink that milk it's so mm. good uh, dude yeah thank this god is, O'Claire had that like, in the calf meh. Yeah, oh my gosh, dude, having this just on, on tap, literally on tap in the cap was incredible. Mm, mm, mm. This was my go-to. It's such a good cereal. Like, if I, if whenever my parents, as I was a kid, were like, oh, what cereal do you want? It's like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Every Crunch, single mom. Time. Give me eight boxes of Cinnamon Toast Give Crunch. Give me that, that's all I need. That's all I want for breakfast, lunch, dinner, just, oh. Sweet. Well, good stuff. let all three of us agree. <laughs> exactly. All right, we are on so to good. another popular one, mm. Frosted Mini Wheats. Also a banger. Also a banger. Not, I would agree. Not, not like it doesn't hit for me as high as Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but it's mm -hmm. it's not like it's not way far off. It's. it's a, uh, it, I don't don't think it's off either. Um, I, yeah, I would agree. Fancy, A or B. Mm -hmm. Um, it, when I'm in the mood for it. And, and it's starting to hit i think it's an easy a but i also think that i'm not in the mood for this as much as other cereals i would agree for to some me it hits reason. like a b. maybe it's like a higher b tier but to me this is kind of a b tier cereal where it's it's very you know, consistent got, b, yeah exactly it's a consistently good cereal but it, it doesn't often become like i'm not often looking to eat mini wheats you know mm -hmm. oh cho i loved strawberry mini wheats i've I never had eat, either I would, oh, dude, if this was strawberry mini weights, this is an A tier, easily. Maybe okay. S tier, because that stuff, I, it came in these little boxes, which was so disappointing. You couldn't get bigger boxes of it. Yeah. And like, oh, I could just pound strawberry mini weights. But I also loved like strawberry milk and shit. I was a weird kid, so. So I'll ask you, I, I guess I knew those existed, but so for the strawberry one, is it just the same like wheat and then it's just strawberry frosting? Same with yeah. chocolate or is like, the chocolate the full cereal flavor or is it just the frosting like what are the i don't know if i've had the chocolate ones but i know that the fro like the for the strawberry ones it was the frosting that was the okay. like, it was there's pink frosting and presumably mm -hmm. that's what was the flavored part of it but and the rest of it was the same yes so okay. it's still like the the wheat roll whatever that is it always reminded me of like a roll of uh you know like you see like a like a farm field of like straw or whatever that is yeah like that's what that always reminded me of all right, I'm looking up chocolate mini wheats right now, and it looks like they are chocolate. Chocolate mini wheats are. Uh, there's also the filled kind. Okay, so it looks like the wheat aspect of it is chocolate, and then oh, the top of it's like just frosting. Regular, interesting. And then little bites chocolate. Yeah, he, there. I do remember there being like little ones with chocolate in this middle filled. Here we go. Oh, because this is frosted mini wheats as a because there's also the yeah. oh yeah these are mini wheats. There's also like regular wheats, which is just like the they're like twice as long. Do you remember those? 
Yeah, well, those are they're just bigger, like squares, yeah. right? So these these filled I think... ones, I, I think I've had them maybe once or twice, and they kind of they're like fig newtons if you've ever had those. Like the no, feeling no, goes no. very well with the milk, so they're I, good. Uh, I've never had them, but I, I believe it. I I enjoy good fig newtons. So Shrek mini wheats. Oh, here's the mini wheat strawberry delight. Yes, dude. Right here. Oh. That looks good. Strawberry mini wheats were the bomb. I wish now I wish I had some strawberry mini wheats. Maybe I'll look for them second next time at the store. I honestly forgot about them. I haven't like thought about most of these cereals in a long time. Yeah, so. this is bringing back some ideas of like what to pick up, you know? Oh yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts about honey nut Cheerios? Woo! Dude, that's a staple. Yeah, it's they're so, they're good. Uh, they're so good. Worth worth bringing up about my childhood cereal that I uh, is that my parents were very big into like healthy eating, and yep. so something that they would do was they would make us eat, they would mix us mix che plain Cheerios with any sort of sweet cereal that we were eating. So, I do like, remember you yeah. saying this before, to be honest. Yeah. So I would, you know, if there's whatever Reese's Puffs, you know, that's mixed with with mm -hmm. regular Cheerios. They would so like they dilute it to an mm -hmm. extent. There exactly. You go. And, and Cheerios are so flavorless and so generic that like. You're not like you don't know, you know, you're still mm -hmm. getting the sweet flavor, it's just like kind of toned down. Yeah, absolutely. so for me, mixing honey nut cheers with the regular cheers, you didn't even like notice. So for me, they're pretty high up there, but like that's yeah. for a very specific reason. Um, so. yeah, I just think they're one of the best cereals, just flavor wise. Like the honey mm -hmm. comes through and mixes with like the the nut oh, or the the, 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 yeah. the whatever the flavor is of like the Cheerio app part of it. Yeah, it, I don't even know what flavor they are. So but... good. Um, yeah, so I and the milk I, afterward. So I'll let you mm. I'll let you fine tune this, but to me this is a or it can make a reach into S tier, but it's not like my top S tier. But I think this is an easy A cereal. I would easily put this in A tier. Like no, mm. I have no issue putting an A, and I agree it could arguably be S tier. Like it's yeah. it's bomb cereal. I think we'll keep it in A for now. Maybe yeah. we move it up. Maybe. But... We got some hard hitters coming up, so we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay. Oh my. All right, I'm just. We're just gonna keep rolling through this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these, we these, got... these tall, these big ones. All right. Yeah. All right. Reese's Puffs. I'll keep yes. it short, short and sweet. I think it's an easy S tier for me. Oh, easy. Uh, just yeah. It's, it's just... very similar to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, yeah. S. Thank you, Fancy. <laughs> Fancy like, it, yeah. Come on. It's just all right. We'll we'll like keep this, it easy. What, keep it short. What argument is there for that? To yeah. Not be S -tier? Oh, the just... milk tastes so bad. Nope. No, like no, it's no, just no, no. The, mm. the the circles. They yeah, there's something oh. about the circles like that that like that and kicks. That yes, yeah. it's unanimous. It, it's it, with the milk doesn't get soggy too much, but when it does, it like it's there's something about the circle cereal, right? There's something about it. Um, it's yeah i totally agree i do, like we can honestly just move on it's all right. just ex all right exactly. moving on moving on to something i've never had before <laughs> rice krispies treats i also have never had these uh let me look up at least have you ever had yeah look, at, look them up i've never had them um we can probably just move them into never tried but i'm curious i'm kind of curious what they are is it just like sugar rice krispies because that sounds kind of bomb. Seems like maybe Rice Krispies. All right, so I'm looking up Rice Krispies treats, and it's just gonna show never. the the freaking Rice Krispies treats. Like, yeah, I was thinking, I was wondering if like, what if it was like little Rice Krispies treats in like? Uh it is. So it's just it's. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe if I just click on the image. Um, oh, is it marshmallows? So, yeah, it's Rice and... Krispies with marshmallows. Oh. Wait, that just seems insanely good. That I yeah that, I mean I've never had it but that sounds pretty tasty I'm not gonna lie what I'd eat that dude if someone was like hey do you want this like absolutely like that I would sound bad. yeah I would I'll have to maybe we'll keep it keep an eye out for that and we'll have to try that you know next time we yeah. go to the store I'll keep it in the have not tried even though we think this yeah. would probably be if a I, if I a tried tier it, that feels like a B tier somewhere in there mm -hmm. like easily easily I mean like Rice Krispies plain are already good so like, yeah it can't it, it's hard to imagine it'd be worse, but yeah. All right, so now we're on to uh, Honey Nut Cheerios, <laughs> uh, less liked sibling, like very basic Cheerios, very basic Cheerios. Um, mm. Right off the bat, to me, it's got the same vibe as like these C tier cereals. I agree. Um, where it's... it's not like I don't think it's as bad as these because it's still decent. 
to me. Mm-hmm. It just obviously doesn't have that slapping factor that like the honey does. Yeah. So there's nothing there ain't there's nothing wrong with the nice bowl of Cheerios, but like it's plain. There's not a lot of flavor. There's not a lot going on. But again, it's trying to be a healthy alternative, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's not trying to wow you with its flavor. It's like hey, you're just not gonna the cholesterol is gonna stay low or whatever, you know? Yeah. Like. You know, to to bring up a point, you know how they always say on the Cheerios, the Honey Nut Cheerios commercials, there's and it says it right here, like it's a chance to lower cholesterol or part of a, like if you eat this daily, it'll help lower your cholesterol or something. I was thinking about that a few months ago, whatever, and finally thinking about what that means. And I'm thinking about what the cereal's made of. It's still all sugar and carbs, you know. That is right. not actually the thing that's lowering your cholesterol. What's lowering your cholesterol is... If you're eating this daily for breakfast, you're replacing Whatever that else. egg and yeah that egg and sausage McGriddle that you're eating every day that is raising your cholesterol. So this is taking its place, therefore lowering it. That is the exactly. only thing that makes sense because that cereal and what it's made of, there's no way that that's actively lowering your cholesterol by itself, no, no, right? No, no, no. It's so just, it has it's to be what it's taking. Yeah, and I thought about that for because you know every, we've he- heard that our whole lives that saying about Cheerios on the mm-hmm. commercials, but. I actually stopped and thought about it the other day, and I was like, "Wait, that's because everyone eats, you know, freaking no greasy ass McGriddle in the morning." Like, like anymore, yeah, yeah. So, just totally a agree. fun little factoid there. All right, Lucky Charms, I think is my favorite cereal. Um, oh, yeah. well, what mean, do you think about it? This is this is easily S tier for me. Yeah, I think Sandwich Toast Crunch is still like my you know S plus. Like that's my favorite, but like Lucky Charms is S. Yeah. Like, all right. D- don't, oh, All right, I think we need to time dudes? out. Uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, chat time out here. Who is this? What is this? Uh, um, All right, I think we'll just leave that in the past. <laughs> we'll, we'll just move on over time like we didn't hear Let's it. move on. Dude, D tier. Wow, I'm I'm honestly curious. Like, Lucky Charms, is, it was that and Cinnamon Toast and the Crunch, dude. Like, uh, Yeah, come on. Come on. What, like, what don't you like about it? What don't you like about it? What is what is not to like about that? You got like, you got like, Cheerios Plus in there, right? Mm-hmm. That are just better. And then you got the marshmallows, which are just like mm, the creme okay. de la creme. You don't like marshmallows? Interesting. Well, okay. So I guess the marshmallows are, you know, if you bite into it, and you might not like the consistency because they are kind of like styrofoamy, I guess, compared to other oh, marshmallows. They're, they're a little styrofoamy. Yeah. They're a bland cereal. Like, All right, ooh. so I I kind of agreed with you on the marshmallow part. I could see where you're coming from, but that just I don't know about this. Part. I don't know about you that lost part. Me. Yeah. I don't know about that part. I all just, right, all right. It's 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 good. I love it. I've I've never actually tried. I think they make chocolate Lucky Charms. I've never had that. I don't think I've had those either. Those would probably be less bland though. Bland? But... No, you're just no. wrong. It's just your opinion is incorrect. <laughs> All right, speaking of chocolate cereals, let's go ahead and move on to Cocoa Krispies. Oh, my. Yeah, dude. Cocoa Krispies. Them and, uh, like, the Cocoa Pebbles. Mm-hmm. So good. Like, these are A-tier. For me, A-tier cereals, at least. Like, they're just good cereal. Like, I already love regular, like, Cocoa, like, Rice Krispies, and then yeah. you're just making them chocolate-flavored. Like, whoa. They're just, they're just okay. good, to me at least. So I, I still like them. I just don't. I don't like the chocolate version of like fruity pebbles or regular like Rice Krispies as much. Oh, it's my least favorite, but I still think it's decent. So I'm thinking like A or B. I can definitely let an A slide because you know it's it's Rice Krispies after all. Like they are really. I really like. It. If you don't like this much, I don't mind to be as much. Like they're not. They weren't. They were never like my my straight up go to cereal. But when mm-hmm. I had them, I did really like them. So, uh, I'm I'm very, whatever you want to put it in. Like A or B is I'm totally good with. If okay. they weren't like super your favorite, B is, is cool. I'm not fudge, dude. I'm not. I'm gonna have to go B. I'm sorry. That's Just, okay. I'm if you don't like them as much as Rice Krispies, that's cool. I still they're still above average. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Um, but they're a, a real good cereal. Fruit Loops. What you feeling? For me, Fruit Loops are I like I associate them, associate them with hotels. Yeah, I got a little, the, little t- in the turning things. Like, 
the little turny like thing and you put them in there and they drop it just in, crushes like... your cereal while you're turning it <laughs> exactly <laughs> and then like it's in this like styrofoam ass bowl and you get this weird ass plastic <laughs> spoon like i think i've just never had fruit loops in like any good capacity i'm like inclined to agree with like a c tier just because of, like the presentation of fruit loops has always been like just garbage subpar like... <laughs> that's so funny i know exactly what you mean with the little the little styrofoam shallow bowl so you can't even get yeah. more than like one turn and then you have like a carton of milk that you have to pour and it, yeah, yeah it's just <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's so bad dude <laughs> it's like the worst like, i don't version. know if i'm ever, ever getting an actual box of fruit lips it's always from like hotels and stuff i i, uh, I personally don't think i can put them any lower than b um but i'm fine is that okay with I you? Think B. If we can put them B, that's fine. I just, just, I'm not like a big fan of them, but like I think I really think that's just because the presentation that I've always had. I I, I don't think they're. I don't think, think they're that worse they're... than Apple Jacks necessarily. I I, I think they're better personally. I same. I think they're in the same tier. Better. The one thing I did like about Apple Jacks is they didn't get soggy quite as quickly. Okay. Uh, which was a bonus, but I would I would agree. I don't think they're. I think the better like flavoring is. Yeah. Uh, it goes to Fruit Loops for sure. So I like the Fruit Loops cereal, or like the Fruit Loop ice cream, Blue Moon. Blue Moon. So. Mm. Slaps. As we all know, I would put that S here. As uh, yeah, we talked about. Our... <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, cool. B, yeah, sweet. I nice and easy. Totally. All right. Raisin, Raisin Bran. Bran. I love Classic. Raisin Bran. Good stuff, dude. I love it. I think a lot of people might not like it because you know, a lot of people don't like raisins. Oh. Hold on, dude. This is Raisin Bran, two scoops. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. they're all, to me, they're all good. Oh, yeah, this... Yeah. Wait, no. This is Raisin Bran, two scoops right here. This has more. This is, like, my... This is I think this is Raisin Bran or Raisin Bran Crunch, which is, like, the sweetier oh. version of it. And this is yeah. Raisin Bran, two scoops here. Mm-hmm. So, Raisin I... Bran Crunch is easily A tier for me. Yeah, I don't Crunch know. is A tier. I think regular two scoops is probably... I think it might be more like B tier. Let's just it's do really it right now. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think every yeah. single raisin brand's good. It's just the more sweetness you add to it and the more like ingredients, just the better it gets, right? Kinda. Yeah, I totally I totally think so. I think like base raisin brand is B tier. Like it's already above average, you yeah. know? Like those mm -hmm. oh, those like raisins you get in those bite you like you know, you like your starch yeah. in the form and your milk at the end. Yeah. Like that's the sweetness for you right there. Yeah, it's oh. good. It's good. That's good. I totally agree. And then the crunch, just like a little more texture and a mm -hmm. little more like sweetness in there. It's oh, definitely, definitely a good cereal. And I feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't, you know, like you hear like a brand cereal, like that's probably not your yeah. go-to. Turns a lot of people off, for sure. I think I think it's a mistake to to avoid the raisin brand. Yeah. So if you like raisin brand, you're probably the you're probably the probably the kind of guy that likes oatmeal raisin cookies, right? Why? Yes, oatmeal raisin. Is so uh, yes, uh, it slaps. It's my favorite, and a lot of people hate oatmeal raisin cookies. You know, there's that everyone hates on them, but it's, it's it's and I love raisin bran. I love oatmeal raisin cookies. So it seemed like you would follow the trend. I totally and agree. apparently Fancy Fig agrees with us. I think they're the best right. cookies. They've got the highest Combine skill ceiling. Like raisin bran with special K. What? That's interesting. I would never have thought to do that. Very interesting. It is good. I that is not something that would come to mind when I'm like, what to mix? I mean, I was mixing with. I guess it's probably pretty similar to mixing everything with Cheerios, but I associate raisin bread with being like, like not needing of mixing. Like, you know, it's already a brand cereal. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, I'm moving on to the next one. Golden Crisp. I've. N is that not just pops? No, yeah, it's a little different. Uh, yeah, it's a little different. Pops is uh, yellower. It's more corny, kind of. Maybe I've had Golden Crisps. I really recognize Oh, it. this is Look. it. It's very similar to Honey Smacks. That's the cereal it looks like. Look up Honey Smacks. Oh. They're the same thing. Honey... They're the same I've thing. i Honey Smacks. Yeah. I'm going to treat them the same. They're both on this tier list, but I think they're I've basically Honey the Smacks. same I've cereal. not had Golden Crisp. I assume they're identical. Yeah, I'm gonna let's treat them as identical for yeah, this. Yeah, I agree. Um, Fancy Fig saying soggy. I love these things. I like them dry. These this was like a road trip, like in a plastic bag kind of food for me. I'm not okay. gonna lie. Yeah, I just think they're good. So 
<laughs> I have nothing against them. They weren't like my favorite cereal or my go-to cereal, but they were good. They're, they're nothing special, and that's what I like about it. It's good by not trying to be anything crazy. I would I would put Honey Smacks in B. I feel like like above average, but nothing yeah. you know crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Golden Crisp in there too. Then. Yeah, or do we want to put that in note not tried? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I guess good call. But presumably they are they're B tier. Because yeah. they're identical. Like, they even look the same, so. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. My parents just got home. I'm going to have to say hi to them real quick. So, go ahead and start talking about Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, absolutely. Fruity Pebbles are kind of bomb. Like, they're they're very similar to me to... Um, I really like them a lot. It's the same as, uh, like, Captain Crunch. Like, the Fruity Captain Crunch. Um, there's a lot of off-brand versions of it, too. That's, like, kind of like the fruity mixed... Like a bunch of different colors they're like all in one and it's just kind of like that generic yeah i i totally agree they're they're really up there in terms because for me they're like the mix between that fruity pebble like fruitiness yeah exactly i'm almost on an s tier fruitiness but you're mixing that with the same uh like rice crispy style of cereal and like that it's just such a good blend dude it's sweet it's flavorful the texture is good like mwah. it's just it's just tasty like there's not much more to it it's just good like like i would i don't think i would ever turn down a bowl of a fresh bowl of fruity pebbles heck even like a sorry bowl of fruity pebbles the milk has been so like imbued with that like that sweet fruity goodness that like and like the the it's the same as rice krispies where like it just almost becomes like liquid when it's soggy you could just drink it like you know yeah like it's you Oh, it's who all right it looks like frost fig likes it sounds like you like it you want to air s because that's it for me you get to choose i i think we could put fruity pebbles s dear yeah personally. yeah all right like, let's do it i think it could definitely yeah so so this kind of ties into what i was saying earlier like the fruity pebbles and like rice krispies they're kind of like the same ish i guess the fruity pebbles are way flatter right i just like the fruitier version bit. better than the chocolate version i guess it's better mm -hmm. to compare it to cocoa pebbles but to me, cocoa, can we just do Cocoa Pebbles? Because we're on the Fruity Pebbles, I guess. Is that in here? Yeah, we can do it at the same time. I, it's not S tier. It's still good, mm -hmm, but yeah. I just don't think it's nearly as good. I think we can put it at the same time as Cocoa Krispies. I think it's the same B tier. Like, yeah. Yeah. For me. Like, they're good. They're, I like them, but they're, like, I would rather have, like, you know, Captain, like, you know, Kicks or Raisin, you know, like those other ones mm -hmm. above it. Like, absolutely. I mean, Cocoa, like, don't get me wrong. Cocoa, like, Pebble, oh, they're good, but, like. They're good. Yeah, they're, they're just they're good. good. All right, so cocoa puffs. Cocoa puffs. I I like them. I love them. They are they're extremely they're... high on my on my list. No lower than A. Yeah, they're kind of the opposite of like peanut butter Captain Crunch, you know, where like Reese's Puffs is the mix between cocoa puffs and peanut butter Captain Crunch, you know. Yeah. where cocoa puffs is just the chocolatey part mm -hmm. and uh, i totally agree they're they're easily like a or s tier i i would so put them as i would I put them as so. that's um, that's fine with me honestly. they're my they're my s tier chocolate cereal and we're following along with the spherical puffs the like they're, the they're, they're so cereals. good it's hard to put them low mm -hmm. there's something about those circles they're delectable excuse me all right we all three agree on that one again oh yeah S tier for sure. All right, almost there. We have five left. Five hard hitters coming up. Oh yeah, on swinging in here to frosted flakes. This is one frosted of my favorites. I in the calf, dude. Yep. Oh. I would eat this. Weirdly enough, you know the little pizzas they would put out right next to the cereal. Mm -hmm. I would get cheese pizza at night. I would get cheese pizza and a bowl of frosted flakes and eating them. Kind of, you know, like take a bite of the frost flakes and then take a, you know, eat it and then take a bite of it. Like just the, for some reason, the calf cheese the pizza mixed forth. with, yeah, it, <laughs> that was my weird combination of college at least, but. Uh, That's so funny. D, this man is I, putting frosted flakes lower than special K. You're no, crazy. No. I put them in A tier. For me, they're like an A tier cereal. Yeah, easily A tier. They don't break into S, I don't think, but no, easily but A tier. Oh, they're just sweet crunchy they're like they got the consistency 
to me they're they easily the best too. yeah yeah that they're, they're, and they're the best like uh whatever you want to call this flake shaped cereal like the yeah, special exactly. cake corn flake like the best, it's, flaky, it's the best cereal. flaky cereal yeah they definitely are a step above the rest of the flakes mm -hmm. you like special k more than you like frosted flakes. yeah that's a bit that's a bit it's gonna turn out that odd. like fancy fig is like 70. <laughs> <laughs> someone i grew up with what is a frosted flake i didn't cope with frosted flake. I grew up with special k if there's a frosted a... special k ooh. <laughs> that's weird they don't make so it like... frosted hmm yeah dude i don't know Damn. all right let's keep it going with the captain crunch berries berries yeah so you said you don't <laughs> like this one as much this is for me, frosted. For, well, for me, my issue with which is all Captain Crunch is that it tends to be. It's just. It's too hard. Like okay. it just doesn't get. It doesn't get soggy at all, and so it ends up just kind of hurting a little bit on like my gums. So I, I, I tend to rate them a little bit lower. Uh, like I wouldn't put it as high as like Fruity Pebbles for sure. Like it's not S. -tier. Oh no, I don't think it's S tier, but but I like it a lot. Yeah, for me, it's probably more like a B or a C tier. But depending okay. on what you feel, then I'm, I'm down to flex on that. I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I would put it A or B, but uh, to to average it out, I think we'll toss it in B tier. B tier, nice. It's definitely, like, it's definitely not as good as the peanut butter crunch. So, mm -hmm. so you're not yeah. like missing out too much. It's, I think the. Have you wait? So you, have you had the berries or not? I have had berries. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, I, I thought the berries were a bit softer than the yellow parts, but I could be mistaken. I think they are. I think the, I think, well, because actually this is, because Captain been a while. Crunch, I've had the off-brand version so many times that I don't, it's hard to remember, because I know I like the off-brand version, but I, I always just associate Captain Crunch with being hard. I know the off-brand version is like more like squares than it is like circles. Mm -hmm. So, or like they're like these thin rectangular square things i don't remember but okay glad to agree mb yeah i think nature right. is a solid spot for that so honestly one of the next this next one honeycomb is one of my favorites and i think it's one of the less at least well-known slash popular cereals i but... have had them very rarely i oh. don't have a i know i've had them but it is not something that i have a like a profound opinion on okay they uh, yeah i agree with uh fancy figure they are up there. They they scratched the S tier for me. Um, oh wow! They're that good. Like the shape of them is very unique. different, that, very unique. And when you get you know like one or two where you can like kind of you know it's gonna sound weirdly specific, but when you like get it to like you know lay flat against the top of your mouth, like in between your tongue, and it's like you can feel, it's just weirdly satisfying to eat, I guess. Yeah, sure. it holds the water or jeez the milk like. The little, the little <laughs> holes. <laughs> wait, so we're, wait, hey, you, you guys, you guys eat cereal with water, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> you guys are like water <laughs> cereal. But you can't dilute the taste of the cereal <laughs> with uh, with milk. No, you gotta get it, that pure. Uh, it, yeah, you gotta. It kind of, it kind of holds the milk like you know, like a Chex does, right? It, it's good. All I'm saying is it's good. So, mm -hmm. I, it would be I'm, high on my I'm list. Them. So, I remember them getting like a little soggy, mm -hmm. but. Honestly, I think whatever whatever you feel will go with because I really have had them so few times. That okay. I don't think I can, I'm going to throw them in really A tier and agree with okay, Fancy yeah. Fig here. Yeah, they're go they're for very it. good. Very, very good. Um, Let's let's do Pops first. We can end with Tricks just because it's more well known. Yeah. For uh, sure. I feel just about the same way about Pops as I do with Honeycomb, except actually, I, I would probably throw Pops in B. Cereals. Or F S tier uh, commercials, though. Yes, just Dude, like uh, Apple Jacks. Godzilla's commercials, oh, they were so good. Mm -hmm. But I guess, uh, now that I think about it, I, I would probably knock them down to B. Depend I don't know how much you've had them. Um, not super frequently. They are very similar to um, Honey Smacks to me. Yeah, the, the middle is, the middle isn't like, like a Cheerio or Honeycomb. It's even fluffier than that. Yeah, very. Um. Honeycomb commercials so were the best. Experience. I barely even remember them. Like these older ones, I barely even remember the commercials. I don't remember honeycomb commercials. I remember uh 
I know I've seen Frosted Flake commercials. I've seen yeah. Honey Nut. I've seen Cheerio, Honey and Cheerio commercials. <laughs> I've seen Captain Crunch commercials, Applejack commercials. I think I've seen Cocoa Pebble commercials. Yeah. Like, Pops is definitely one of the older cereals on this list, mm -hmm. um, along with Honeycomb. I would say it's a minimum of a B. It's either yeah. B or A tier for me. Honestly, I would, I'm going to throw it A tier. I'm going to throw it A. A tier. Yeah. yeah. The crazy monkey thing. All right, now I have to look this up. The crazy monkey. Look up crazy monkey honey crisp. Wait, was it honeycomb commercial or pop commercial? Honeycomb, honeycomb. Pops had the bomb commercials, but. Oh, this dude. Oh my god. Oh, shoot, I have seen this. I'm Big Betty the Blind Bomber, and I want a big cereal. Honeycomb big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are big. Okay, this is probably the wrong commercial. Yep, absolutely. Let me go ahead and go to this guy. That's funny. Here we go. That one, yeah. Look at him, dude. It's kind of like a look at This is not the monkey, dude. But You're talking about this little monkey, honey right? Cold, already assembled in this handy box and part of this good breakfast. You are so grounded. I don't remember. I, mean, like, I know I've seen. I know I've seen that little monkey kid, though. I don't remember much about him. But... I feel like yeah, you're talking about way. this guy. Okay, let's shoot the cereal. I just gotta have that honey sweet crunch. Me? What? The thing. The thing about like. What was it about like 90s commercials where the effect where these kids They like yeah their eyes get big and they get like animated right here Wait. That right here this was in every single commercial like where they this right here where they kind of like This weird animation thing like that's just I feel like that's just the 90s me want the honeycomb. Okay, that's bringing back a little bit of memories for sure there. I know I've seen them. I just don't remember them. Like, look up, uh, dude, look up the Pops commercials because those were, oh my gosh, dude. This will transition into our YouTube nicely. Yeah. Uh, let's just, let's just rate, here, let's rate this last serial first and then we'll get it's into really some quick. commercials. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm down to look at some old commercials. Uh, that sounds fun. And then, all right, tricks. I haven't had in a long time and I think it kind of fell off. I don't remember it being very good. It just like was yeah. then. Oh, I think it's S tier, fancy thing. It's funny because I feel I just don't remember it being very good. I, remember... uh, I would put it B tier maybe. At the most, yeah. yeah. Sorry, fancy thing. <laughs> it just it just stopped being a thing. Like Dude, Trix isn't even a yogurt anymore. I think it is. I just don't see the commercials. I think you can still get it at the store. Their no, yogurt they slaps. They really? Tricks. They actually discontinued the yogurt? This, it is, I learned this recently. It is discontinued. Oh, no way. They no longer make it. Yeah, right? Isn't that nuts? I didn't know that until recently. But it, you cannot, as far as, from what I understand, you can no longer uh, purchase Trix yogurt anymore. So, which is disappointing because Trix yogurt was pretty bomb. So. It was. With the colors and everything. Yeah, this, I love the split colors. You could like yeah. eat half of it and like pretend like it was a different flavor, even though it almost certainly wasn't a different flavor. Yeah. That was All so right. Good. Well, this is our tier list, everyone. Thanks for yeah, watching. I like it, dude. There it is. Uh, if you're uh, watching this later on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe. If you're here in chat, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that, though. I definitely liked it. There we go. Very nice. Dude, this just makes me want to eat cereal. I don't know. Yeah, right?